everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well if you're new here welcome i'm jo i do craft videos i usually do three a week as well as poundland hauls and charity shop finds because i do like a good look around the charity shops if you like the video give it a thumbs up please feel free to share and if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends if you're returning as always my friends thank you for your continued support i love you guys so much so yeah let's get into today's project so i wanted to create some little flower pots for my hallway i knew i wanted them gold and i knew that i wanted the flowers to be white and green and i already decided that i wanted to use pegs for them so all i'm doing is taking apart some pegs i got a pack from asda a pound a pack i bought two but i actually only used less than one pack so they're dead easy to take apart you just pull them apart and i'm going to keep the silver pieces out the center of them just because i'm probably going to use them in another craft so i'm going to take two empty crisp tubs and these are asda's versions of pringles and i'm going to glue the pegs all the way around the base of the tub and then i'll cut it afterwards i'm going to glue the peg on the straight side and make sure that the cutout wooden detail is facing me and the thinner edge of the peg is at the bottom i'm just going to continue to glue these around both of my tins and once i've done that we can get on to the next step And here is what it looks like with the pegs all the way around the bottom so i'm just going to carefully now use the stanley knife to cut away the top of the tin and it will give us our two pots so i'm going to keep the two top sections because i'm sure they'll come in handy for a future craft and these are our pots now these look really nice as is you could just add house plants or you could add cactuses i think with a little bit of string tied around the front into a bowl would look really nice i'm going to spray mine in gold i bought two tins of this gold spray paint from a local diy shop i paid 1.99 for it i'm not too fond of the color it's not as gold as i wanted but i can't get my gold paint i normally get from poundland at the moment so this is what i've got and need to use it up anyway so this is ideal for this project i did one coat let them dry and now i'm going to fill them with some oasis I'm just going to cut my oasis to the size that I want just using a knife and just carefully cutting it around the outsides until they fit into each of the pots. These are the selection of flowers that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some white lilies. I did buy this white blossom, but I didn't actually use any of it. And then I've got some greenery that I also picked up. I get my flowers from my local market they're a pound a bunch and these roses are actually from poundland now i get to do the fun part of adding the flowers i've got my glue gun on and i always do the same on each side of my flower arrangements and if i'm doing two of them i do them exactly the same so i'm just going to glue the oasis into the bottom of the pots just to make life a little bit easier so it's not moving about and i'm starting off with the greenery i'm going to glue bits around the outside i'm going to actually glue them into the oasis just because there is no stem to push in but i'm going to also glue them to the side of the pot in the shape that i want and like i said i'm going to do exactly the same to the other side as well Just adding little bits of glue as and where is needed. So here are the green leaves in place and I'm going to add one of these to each side. I'm not too sure what these are called. If anybody knows, could you please leave a comment and let me know so for future reference. And now I'm going to add two lilies to the back of each pot. I'm just bending the stems so that they face forward and I'm putting them right next to each other at the back, like so. I 
and this is where we're up to and now I'm going to add some of the white roses I'm just going to add one at the center at the front and then the same with the other one and now I'm just adding some of the leaves that were on the roses one to each side just to thicken it out a bit and here we are up to now and I'm loving how they look but I want to add some more of the white roses and I'm just taking some of the leaves that also came on the bunch of roses and I'm just cutting them and then I'm going to glue them to the top of the rows just so that the leaves stand out a little bit more in the display and then before I add the roses I'm just going to add another lily to the front of each pot and now I'm going to add my roses so I'm going to add one to each side of the rose that's already in place just to fill some of the gaps And then I just want to add a little bit more greenery around the base. So I started by using one of these long leaves. I think they're a kind of fern. I'm not too sure. And I'm just going to pop one at the side and then glue it to the tub like so. I'm going to do one on the other side as well. And once I did it on both sides, I realized how much I liked it. So I actually added some more around the front in exactly the same way. But instead, what I did was I glued it to the bottom of the tub instead. You'll see in a second, I'll show you. But yeah, I really, really liked how this was looking. So I decided to add more of it. And here it is with the greenery around the outside and glued to the bottom of the tub. So I just thought it finished it off really nicely and added a little bit more dimension and detail to it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just to add a few more green leaves in between the roses. And here they are finished. So a great way to spend a couple of hours in an afternoon and I'm over the moon with how they turned out. I say that a lot. But I am really, really happy with these ones. I love the colours. They're just ideal and exactly what I wanted. And I love the effect of sticking the greenery around the outside of the tub. So, yeah, I hope it's giving you some ideas and a really cheap and affordable craft that you could do. Like I said, in a couple of hours and then you've got something nice and pretty to have in your home. So I hope it's giving you some ideas and I will see you on Friday for my next video. So till then take care bye for now